Hello and welcome to another speed achievement video. The achievement is why is the room gone? Where we need to establish a holy order in the state of Rome as Asturias. It is a weird one and I have been meaning to give it a try for a while now. So finally I decided to sit down and get it done. However, I did not just want to do the achievement. I wanted to do it quick and with minimum work. So I have a strategy and I think the achievement can be done by around 1510 and with most of it played on speed 5. Fair warning though, if you're looking for a good stable run, this guide is not it. The aim of this guide is to just get the achievement. So let's start. Asturias is a releasable nation in Castile and Rome is a state in Anatolia controlled by the Ottomans at the start of game. The regular strategy is to nation ruin Castile at the start of game and release and play as Asturias, then become big enough as Asturias and finally take on the Ottomans. That takes time and you can do it if you want to play for a longer game. For this speed achievement strategy, we are going to no CB Byzantium as Castile at the start because fighting the Ottomans as Castile is easier. So the plan is to take the required provinces from Ottomans as Castile and then release Asturias. Obviously it's not that straightforward and we will have to do some shenanigans to complete the achievement. Starting as Castile, the first thing we need to do is get a lot of allies. The no CV Byzantium strategy is fairly well known. If you don't know it, the idea is that we attack Byzantium, then wait for Ottomans to attack them too. Then we vassalize Byzantium. That way, we will be the defender against Ottomans and we can call all our allies. It is the easiest way to tackle Ottomans at the start and you can use this strategy with a lot of different nations. With Castile, we'll start by building some transport ships and some galleys. And who you ally at the start will depend on who has rivaled you. In my game, I was able to ally Aragon, Portugal, Savoy, Papal State and eventually Hungary as well by influencing them. So that's a pretty solid defensive alliance. After that, I declared a no-CV war against Byzantium. They are typically only allied to either Serbia or Albania or Wallachia, so the war isn't hard at all. Siege down Constantinople, then peace out the war ally, and then wait till Ottomans declare war. This part is RNG dependent, and AI might go fight one of the Turkish Beyliks first. In my game, I had to wait till 1452, and I did get the call for peace, but you can reset it if you send a peace offer to the enemy that is less than the war score and if they reject it. And we can do this by not occupying the fort in Moria and demanding that in the peace deal. I had to do that a few times to make sure the war exhaustion didn't get out of hand. Once Ottomans declare war, peace out Byzantium and make them a vassal. Then call in all your allies. Obviously, this war won't be hard. The Ottomans will be outnumbered 5 to 1. Just be patient and wait for all your allies' armies to arrive. From this war, I took some provinces in the Anatolian coast along with one province in the state of Rome. Then I gave two provinces to Byzantium. Then I released Kandar as a vassal and gave them the province of Amasya. After this, we will just wait till Ottoman's truce is over and attack them again. Time to speed 5. By the time truce expires, you will have enough favors with your allies, so declare on Ottomans and this time, take all of Rome's state and all their money again and get a truce for as long as possible. Now give all the newly conquered provinces to your vassal Kandar. Next, it's time to ruin Castile before we switch to Asturias. Firstly, we will spend all our monarch points in developing the new Asturias provinces. We will take as many loans as possible and debase currency. Then spend all the money. Upgrade the center of trade in Cantabria to level 3. Then just spend rest of the money in upgrading the advisors and firing them till we are all out of money. Then we will break all alliances and break royal marriages. We will also release all vassals we can. One thing to note is when we release Leon, they get the province of Asturias. So we will seize it right back before releasing Asturias to make sure we have all the provinces. After this, we can enable and disable Scootish multiple times to make sure the vassals don't become loyal again. 
Do this for all vassals except Kandar. Finally, we will delete all army and navy and then release and play as Asturias. You can do more to ruin Castile, but honestly, it's not necessary. In my game, the Iberian Wedding fired before this, and obviously I took the option to not get Aragon under PU because we want to make Castile weaker. Since you have to wait for the truce to fight Ottomans twice, there is a good chance you will see the Iberian Wedding event. And now we are finally playing as Asturias, a three province minor. We have a 5-year truce with Castile, so we cannot ally any other Castilian vassal or ask for independence. Next, start improving relations with France and England. They are the most likely ones to support. Also improve relations with Aragon as they want all our provinces and it's important to keep them on our good side. Then improve with Leon, Galicia and Byzantium, the other Castilian vassals and also improve with Ottomans. During this 5-year truce, keep building some transports. We will need at least 12 transports. Once the truce is over, seek allies for the independence war. In my game, France readily joined in. England, however, refused. I was also able to ally other Castilian vassals. And then I declared the war for independence. Obviously, the war is super easy. Make sure you have 12 army units standing by. We are not going to help with the independence war though. We will leave all that to our allies. Get all the armies on transports, then sail over to the coast of Kandar and stay there. We will peace out Castile, demanding independence, war reparations, and that they release Kandar from vassalization. During this war, make sure you are also improving relations with countries you can ally. You will need a lot of them. As soon as you can peace out Castile, declare on Kandar and quickly full siege them. As it's likely they will get attacked by either Ottomans, Caravan or AQ here. The idea is the same. If someone attacks you, we vassalize Kandar and then call in our allies in the defensive war. In my game, Ottomans attacked Kandar as well. So once I vassalized Kandar, I was able to call in my allies against Ottomans again. This war wasn't long either as all I wanted was a white piece. Once that war is done, it's time to get all those alliances going that you have been improving relations for. I was able to ally Brittany, Savoy and Austria, and I was close to allying Hungary too. We need those alliances as there's a big chance that a coalition will declare on us. And they did declare on me. Ottomans didn't join the coalition because I had a truce with them. Mamluks did however join in with four other nations. Again, I let my allies deal with all of the fighting and I finally took just war reps and some money from them to get as long of truce as possible. After that, it's just a matter of getting Kandar loyal. You can do this by paying off their debt or placating local rulers or developing their provinces. Once they're loyal, we will seize the province of Amasya and Korit. The coring takes a while, so we will have to wait. During this time, keep improving relations with anyone you can ally. I was able to ally Hungary as well here. Once the core is done, it's time to declare a no CB war against Kandar. Yes, more stab hits and more A. But at least this war is quick. We will full annex them here, which will generate a lot of A. But you should still have cruises with most of the nations nearby. And now you have even stronger allies. So next, it's just time to core the provinces, state them, and full core them, then finally establish a holy order in the state of Rome. And that's the achievement done! One thing to keep in mind is that as Asturias, don't take any admin or diplotech. You will need those monarch points to decrease war exhaustion, increase stab, and to core provinces. This speed achievement strategy obviously requires some RNG to go in your favor, so I advise that you should be ready with the Alt F4 button. I had to use it two times at this run but that's part of most narrow strategies in EU4. Overall, I think the strategy is fairly repeatable. I managed to do it twice. First one when I was figuring out the finer points in non-Iron Man mode, and then once in Iron Man mode to get the achievement. I had fun with this one though. One of the things I like about short achievements like this is that there is usually more than one way to complete it, and you can go the boring route and maybe complete the achievement by, say, 1560 or 1570, or you can use the best CB multiple times and complete the achievement 50 years sooner and significantly faster 
faster as you will be on speed 5 while waiting for those truces. I hope this short guide helps some of you get this achievement. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, I will try to answer it. And if you have any other crazy strategy, let us know about it in comments as well. You were watching your radiator's guide, thank you for your time and I'll see you all in the next one.